Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I want to talk about monitoring your audio and uh, what to look for to know if your audio is too low or too high or good quality or bad quality. So I want to, if you look up here under our, we have a microphone and a speaker uh, kind of button. It says click to, to start monitoring. If we click up here, we notice we start seeing some levels. So I'm talking right now and as I talk, these levels kind of go up. And the microphone I'm using to monitor here is not the same microphone I'm talking into for, for recording this audio. The one I'm recording the audio on is this Rode mic and the one that we're seeing right now up here is, our, is my webcam uh, microphone. And I can control the volume of this over here by just clicking and dragging this down. So if I bring this down here, we see this doesn't go up quite as high when I talk. If I bring it all the way down, it's pretty low now. It's only kind of about halfway. If I bring it all the way up, we see it goes this these bars go higher. So this is showing a representation of the audio that we're recording. Also, when I when it's silent, we see the noise floor. So we see how much ambient noise there is happening. You see that? So there's just some noise happening in the air in this room. The, the buzzing of the computer, buzzing of lights, that's just the noise that it's picking up. There's a left and a right channel. That's why they're kind of ones ahead of the other sometimes. We see left and right. And this is too high right now, so I'm not recording, but we see this is pretty high. The fact that it's going into orange and even red, if I were to clap my hands, it definitely peaks out. We can record and, and see what that looks like. So this is recording. I'm going to come really close and talk right into this microphone here, and we see it's like clipping. It's just too loud. A good level for this would be to come down here, maybe set it to right here so that it goes into the yellow occasionally. When things get really loud, it might barely start to clip a little bit, but we want to avoid clipping. I'm going to hit stop here on this recording. So clipping is when, if we come over here to when I was really close, when the audio file goes up above this 1.0 point. So it starts at zero, and then one is like 100%. So if your audio that you're recording is over 100% level, then you're going to experience clipping, which the top of this wave clips. A good healthy wave looks like this. You can see the very top of it and you can see what the wave looks like. If we want to zoom in and look at like a good healthy wave, we can highlight this and then go to this uh, click here. It says fit selection to width. And we can just see, we can see the tops and we can see the whole wave and there's space above it. If ever we come over and we see a wave and there's not space above it like this over here, you see it's, it's clipped out part of the audio. I'll click here so we can see that. So these parts of the audio are clipped and it sounds pretty bad too when this happens. So if we go back to the beginning and play this. So this is recording. I'm going to come really close and talk right into this microphone here. You see that? It's like all distorted. I'm really close and talk right into this microphone. And look at our levels on our playback. When we're playing, we can see basically our speaker is showing the same thing that our recording monitor was showing when we recorded. I'm really close and talk right into this microphone. So we can, we can go in and fix this after the fact using different effects. Um, but the best thing to do is just record it right the first time. And so, for example, like if we want to just lower the volume, watch what will happen. We can click here and we can turn down the gain and that will actually lower. It doesn't change the wave, but it's going to make it much quieter when we play back. So it's like you can almost hardly hear it. Um, but it's still distorted. Even though we turned it down, that the distortion is still there because we captured it with this kind of crazy distortion. This left and right I want to show to you on the audio track just lets us control wh whether we're using our left or our right, um, whether the audio is coming out of the left or the right ear. Turn this down a little bit so it's not so loud for you. Recording. I'm gonna come really so this is the left side. This, microphone here. this is the right this side. Um, if we hit record again, oh wait, let's go back and hit record again a second time. Oh, my setting, okay. So, never mind. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at adding in a second track. I think there's like a setting up here. We go to edit, uh, tracks, we go to add new stereo track, and now we have a, a new track down here. So we can have two tracks at once. Um, it used to be by default that when you hit record, it would just start on a second track, and we can change that setting, but I'm not sure how to do it exactly right now. But uh, So now we can say we can record down in this track. So this is my second track. So we can have two audio playing over top of audio. And then we can mute just this one, or we can solo and just play this one and mute all the other tracks. 
So that's what that mutant solo is. Um, and then we can minimize the track and kind of bring it down smaller if we're working with lots of different audio tracks. You can change the size that you're viewing it to. Well, I hope I didn't cover too much or I hope I didn't get down to too crazy with this tutorial, but that's what I wanted to talk about is just being aware of your levels and recording good audio and just watching that you're in that green, watching that you're recording a nice uh, nice level right here just in the green area, not into the yellow, and also not too low here. If it's too low, then your audio sounds, you know, obviously too low. But lower is better than higher. Too soft, we can always amplify and bring out some of that audio. Too loud, you're going to get distortion sounding, and that's just no good. Well, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope that's uh, been informative for you. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one.